Hey everyone, Daniel here from Twin Bytes with another quick tutorial for you. This time on how to move programs from your C drive to the D drive. If you're running out of space on the C drive on your computer and you have a second drive most likely labeled as D and you want to move stuff to free up the storage space on your C drive, you can easily move your documents, pictures, music and that sort of thing. But what about programs? Rather than uninstall them and then reinstall them on the other drive, you can move some of the programs. So you would get to that by right clicking on your start button in Windows 10 and going to apps and features. And you'll get the list of programs that you have currently installed. And as you scroll through the list, you'll be able to see the programs and how much storage space they're taking up. As you click on each one, you'll have options and they vary for some of the programs. In this one, for example, we'll see there's a modify and an uninstall. They'll all have the ability usually to uninstall almost every time with some exceptions, but not all of them are allowed to modify. This one here we could modify, so that would include doing a repair installation of it rather than uninstall and reinstall, but we want to find an option to move. So looking through some of these, this one here has an option to move, but it's grayed out and we can't do it. So not all of them will allow you to move. So you'd have to see which ones you can move. This one, for instance, is very small. It's only 72 KB, so it wouldn't make much of a difference anyway. But I want to look down here. There's Asphalt 9 Legends is 2.5 gigabytes of storage space. And if I click on it, I do have the option to move. So I'm going to click on that and it tells me where it's currently installed. It's the C drive and I can choose what drive letter I want to move it to. So if I had more than one, I could click in the drop down menu and select another drive. By default, I only have one. So it's choosing that second drive. So I'll go and hit move. It now shows that it's actually moving it and there's a little progress bar going along showing that it's moving. So this will take varying amounts of time depending on the speed of your computer and the size of the program that you're moving. This one here is one of the larger programs with the amount of data it has connected to it. but I do have it running on a fast computer. So it's now done and it just minimizes back to its normal view like this. So if I click on it once more, I can go to move again. And now it tells me the app is currently installed on my D drive. And I have the option of moving it back to C, which I don't want to do. So there's no close button here. If I just want to get out of here, just click off to the side somewhere and that'll go away. And that's all there is to moving programs from the C drive to the D drive. If you have some other ones that you want to move and they do not give you the option to move it, you would have to uninstall those programs and reinstall them again. But looking at the size, you can see which ones would actually make much of a difference. So kilobytes is nothing really, megabytes, you're starting to get there if it's up in the hundreds of megabytes. But definitely when you get into gigabytes, that could make a big difference for you. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for future videos. Thanks so much. Bye for now.